Welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Mega Man X. Um, we just took down Spark Mantle, so that's half the Mavericks down. So, all we have left is Stink a Million, Boomer Kawanger, Launch Octopus, and Spark uh, Armored Armadillo, which we'll be taking on now. This is actually a really fast level. I know somebody's going to watch this and, and want to kill me, but this is my least favorite song in the game. Still a good song, but my least favorite. So... I still like this. this is a pretty cool level though, so. You need to ride these minecarts pretty much the entire way, so it goes pretty quick. Except for here, I want to show you something here. If you're if you're playing this, you want you're running out of lives. This is what I think is the best place to mine for uh, farm lives. It's right here on this this particular bat. Of course now that I try to show, it's probably not gonna work, but this guy drops lives like Pretty often, like, but if yeah, if you ever, you know, when you're in Sigma's fortress and you need, there you go. Now he's doing it. You just need to pick up some lives. I feel like this is probably the best place in the game to pick up lives. So that guy is a life-dropping fiend. So. Yeah. I don't know why I'm stocking up. I don't plan on dying anytime soon, but let's see what we got here. All right, seven. So I'll just... the one thing about this game is you can't go above nine lives. So, which is ten because zero counts to the life. But so we have eight. Might as well just stock up on lives just in case. There we go. Now we're full. So now it's continuing through. So oh, don't die. <laughs> Almost wasted one of the lives I didn't plan on losing. So. Oh yeah, it's mostly bats and ostriches in this level. Uh, you get some weird bird things later on, but I think it's pretty just bats. Oh yeah, I need these things up here, but they're 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 not any issue. So basically, you run away from it. You go up here, you get some cool shit. Fill up your sub tanks. That noise right there means you got one sub tank filled. So you don't get any kind of bonus for beating it, but to the thing, actually. You could wait there, wait for it to go past you, and just kind of see it's, it's, it crash into spikes and now it's dying, so. So that's pretty much it. Like, this is the level. It's a neat level, but I mean, you could pretty much just cruise through it, so. Now, there is a secret in this level, which I may or may not come back to. It's, um,. You can get the Hadoken from Street Fighter in this in this level, actually. So, if if you want to come back, and it's a, kind of a weird little trick. It's not like one of those fake things. I don't know how anyone ever figured out in the first place, but um, you can jump into a certain pit five times. You got a little heart tank. Uh, let's see here. Well, I think we have one more heart tank than then. Two more, two more heart tanks. Three. I don't know. We have a few, a couple more to get, but. Yeah, you jump into a pit five times, and all of a sudden a capsule will appear, and uh, Dr. Light will be in the capsule dressed like uh, Ryu, Ryu, whatever his name is from Street Fighter, and you actually get the Hadoken move from Street Fighter to use in this, which is, you have to have full health to use it. This is the pit right here, so you jump up here, and you go down, and you, you fall down the pit five times, you do this over and over again, and then the fifth time, or sixth time, there'll be a, a capsule up there, and you'll get the Hadoken, so... And you do it just like the Hot Oak Industry Fighter with, you know, down, forward, quarter turn forward, and Y, so. Armor Ardell is weak against uh, Spark Mandrill's weapon, and you'll see what it does here in a second. So, here he comes, being a dick. He's kind of a pain in the ass, unless you have this weapon, and then... He does this shit, but... Oh, hey! Now look, nothing, nothing to it now. Come a super easy boss all of a sudden. His armor's gone. I think he still bounces around, but you can hurt him while he's rolling around now that when this happens, so. Oops. That's it. Really difficult, I know. That's the entire armored armadillo level. So.
This is always my least favorite weapon in the game. You need it. It's actually... It's one of the most important weapons in the, in, in the game, but... I don't like it. Does that. You charge it up, it makes a force field around you, you're invincible for a while, it's kinda cool. But, uh, alright, well that's it for that. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Mega Man X.